Oh, it's a ghost! What? This is quite a random rant, really. Um, I don't know what to... I don't know what to call it. Um... Give me an envelope? Yeah. Okay. So, I got a letter from my bank today regarding things that you don't need to know about, you know. Well, basically, some money went missing from my account yesterday. Square Enix stole it. Let me just give you a, give you the lowdown. I used to play Final Fantasy XI, you know, the online one. But I deleted my account and stuff a long time ago. I cancelled it all. Like, three years ago or something. Maybe two. Probably three. Yeah, three. Probably. No, two. Yes. Something like that, anyway. And like just a week ago or something I checked my um my money in the bank and thirty one pounds just suddenly went missing and it was from Square Enix Play On so yeah I called the bank and I'm trying to get this money returned because I cancelled my account and I didn't authorise this transaction yeah transaction authorize this transaction. I just used two big words in as many seconds. So anyway, I just got this letter today. I have to sign it and date it and send it back. But here's the part of the rant that this video is titled for. Give me an envelope. I don't know how it works over where you live, but usually if someone sends you a letter... Wait, usually? Usually if you get mail that like has something in it that you're supposed to fill out and send back to them or something they're supposed to give you an empty envelope in the letter like with the stuff so that you can put it in the envelope and send it back easily you know like surveys and things there's always an envelope in there to put it back in at least that's how it works over here but no this from Berkeley's, the bank that I'm with, nothing. And it's supposed to be like one of the top banks in the world or something. I think it's the number one bank in the UK at least. And they can't even manage a simple empty envelope for me to send things back in. So i got to find an envelope in the house, if we have any even, anymore. Or I gotta go up to the post office and BUY ONE! I'm trying to get my money back here, not waste it on sending things back to you when you were supposed to give me one in the first place to send it back in for free charge! I forgot about the stamp. I have to pay for a stamp as well. No, we got stamps. I don't know. It's just kind of an unrequired rent. I didn't really need to make this. There was just no point. But... I just felt like it, because I don't upload enough things like Paul's Ranting and Paul's Gaming anymore. What, Paul's Gaming? I upload that every day. I don't upload enough things like Paul's Ranting and pre-game yums. So here we are in the kitchen of yum. Let's fit two into one. No. I am going to make breakfast, though. So you might as well watch. You might as well watch, just to make it that bit more interesting. What we have today is a scone. That's not for breakfast. What is for breakfast is... Crunchy oats! Or crunchy oats. Yes. Crunchy oats. Yum! Oh, just... Shove it. Yep, that's it. You can put milk in if you want. <sighs> but I prefer to have it without milk. But on this one occasion, just for you guys, I'm going to ruin my breakfast and add milk. But first, let's have a sampler. I'm using my left hand. What the fudge? That's what happens when you use your left hand when you're right-handed. Damn, they weren't joking about that crunchy part. 
Kill all sons of bitches. That's my official instruction. Anyway, I feel like playing Left 4 Dead 2, actually. Anyway, this is Crunchios. Depending on where you live, maybe you can get it down at your local shop or store where you get cereal. It's a lot better value, at least over here. Boxes of things like Frosties, Shreddies, um, Cocoa Pops. They're like two to three pounds a box. And they don't even have as much in as these do. Now just look how popular this stuff is in my house. <laughs> yep, we love the stuff. Wait, what's on the shelf above? Oh. Oh. What a twat. Oh crap. Oh, I don't know, I haven't seen it. I like Toy Story anyway. Yeah, these, they're like, they've got a lot more in them. Doesn't mean they last longer though. Boy, do I eat them. It's good for you. And they're like £1.50 or less for a bag. £1.50 for all that! One bag is like... I don't know, for me, one bag is about ten bowls. Maybe eight. But I think ten. Around that, anyway. Anyway, back to, this, back to the matter at hand. Let's put some milk in. I don't know if you saw my, one of my vlogs, A Day in the Life. But... I didn't pour milk very well one-handed. But this has got a bigger target, because it's a bowl. It still didn't go too well, though I put too much in. Great. So one important factor about making perfect breakfast cereal. Don't drown it. Just put enough in to keep it soggy. <laughs> don't drown it. I mean, to keep it, I don't know. Just put enough in. Don't put too much in, otherwise it will all go soggy. And the point is, it's supposed to stay a bit crunchy on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. Gotta sign a freaking letter. Sure. Bye.